Shabbat Shalom everybody, Bruchim Abaim, and welcome to our Kabbalat Shabbat services. My name is Rabbi Shapira and I'm the founder of Ahavat Ami International and Yeshivat Shuvu International. And every Friday, if it's winter or summer, we are gathering here on our channel to help you to learn about the culture of the Shabbat, the melodies of the Shabbat, to enter to the Shabbat. And this is a very special Shabbat. It's the very first Shabbat in the year 2023. And we are also are concluding the book of Bereshit today. And we'll talk about this here in a minute, Parashat Vayechi. You see, every time we conclude a book in the Torah, we say chazak, chazak, venit chazak, which means to be strong, to be strong, and let us strengthen each other, venit chazak, let us become strong again. And uh, this is my desire to see this community being able to achieve a strength 
And how do we become strengthened? How do we become strengthened in Egypt? How did Joseph become strengthened? The Torah, the Shabbat, tell us how he did that. He had his sons working with him. He looked at his father, Jacob, and said, e, these are the sons who helped me to prepare for your coming. Today, just as Messiah is helping us, we are helping in some way to the Lord by carrying the burden of his name. And this is exactly what those services, if it is Erev Shabbat or Shabbat morning, this is exactly what the services are all about. It's about strengthening, honoring, and bringing the name of God to the world. So today, I am encouraging you to do a few things together with me. Number one, hit the share and the like. Let's make noise for the Lord. Let's break records in our numbers. We need to reach more people who will want to come to welcome the Shabbat. In parallel to this service, we also have Kabbalah Shabbat taking place in Spanish, in French, in German, and in Dutch at the same time. So all of this taking place at the same time. I meant the Dutch, I meant Portuguese, I apologize. Uh, this is what the Lord is doing. He is bringing all of the remnants together to prepare for the one Shabbat to one Shabbat to the day that is called Yom Shekulo Shabbat, a day that is like a Sabbath. Will you prepare with us? Will you get ready with us? I pray that you will quickly, quickly in those days. So today we, we wish you Shabbat Shalom. And we bless, bless the Lord for you. Number two, your support is paramount. We close 2022 with a significant deficit. And one of the biggest projects that we have upon us today, you can see on your screen, is Bet Shuvu, the historic and prophetic launching of the synagogue in Africa. We are... Uh, I have the budget for 100. What we need is to get to 129,500. That is what is needed. And so far, we raised 86,000, I believe, or somewhere around that. So we are asking you today to help us. We are not that far, but we are still about $30,000, $40,000 away. It's, it's a lot of money. But I believe that. If we pull together and we believe that we are part of this remnant, this anti-movement, then we can do it together. So as we enter the Shabbat, we have this culture in Judaism. On the Shabbat, we bring the best, but we always bring something to the Lord. So please, today, uh, be generous and bring the very best that you have unto the Lord. We welcome you here. We say Bruchim Abayim in the name of the Lord. Welcome in the name of the Lord. We are happy. Uh, the Chazan with us he, he is also excited to be with you. I wish to all of us today Shabbat Shalom. And it is time to enter to this melodies of the Shabbat. Hit the like, hit the share. Let's make a noise unto the Lord today. It is way too quiet today. Where is everybody? Come on, let's make a noise to God today. Parashat Vayechi. I will be back with you right before the Lechadodi. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. We begin now with the lighting of the Sabbath candles. Here, after you. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedshanu B'Mitzvotam V'Tzivanu V'Echad Liknem V'Echad Liknem Shell shot. 
Blessed are you, Adonai, our King, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Achama mei rosh ha'ilanot nistalka Bo'u v'netze lekrat Shabbat ha'malka Hine hi yoredet akdosha brucha Ve'hi ma'malachim tzva shalom The sun on the treetops no longer is seen. Come gather to welcome the Sabbath, our Queen. Behold her descending, the Holy, the Blessed. And with her the angels of peace and of rest. Draw near, draw near, and here abide. Draw near, draw near, O sad. Peace also to you, you angels of
Amen. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for fellowship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness and harshness. May this synagogue be, for all who enter, the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. Amen. Sing with me a new melody. In God's hand are the depths of the earth, the peaks of the mountains are God's. God's is the sea, God made it, and the land which God's hands fashioned. Come, let us bend the knee, bow down and kneel before Adonai, our maker. For Adonai is our God, and we are the people God tends, the flock in God's care. Oh, if you would but heed God's charge this day. Arba'im shana akut bedor, ba'omar anto elevav hem, vehem lo yad udrachai. Asher nishpati v'api im yedo'un el menuchati. Shiru l'adonai, shir chadash, shiru l'adonai kol ha'aretz. Sing to Adonai a new song. Sing to Adonai all the earth. Sing to Adonai, bless God's name. Proclaim God's victory day after day. Tell of God's glory among the nations, God's wondrous deeds among all peoples. For Adonai is great and much acclaimed. God is held in awe by all divine beings. All the gods of the peoples are mere idols. But Adonai made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before God. Strength and splendor are in God's temple. Yismechu hashamayim etagel ha'aretz Yiram hayam umelo'o Yalo sadai bechol asher po Az yiranenu kol atzeya'ar if ne Adonai kiva kiva lishpot haaretz, ishpot tevel besedek veanim bemunato. Adonai malach tagel haaretz. Adonai is sovereign. Let the world rejoice. God's throne is founded on justice. Though God be clouded from view, divine justice reveals God's presence. God's lightning illuminates the earth. Fire consumes God's foes. Mountains melt like wax before Adonai. The earth trembles. The heavens proclaim God's righteousness. All the people behold His majesty. Shame covers those who worship idols, those who take pride in revering images, which must themselves bow low before God. Hearing of your judgments, Adonai, Zion exalts, and the cities of Judah rejoice. You are supreme over all the earth, highly exalted beyond all that is worshipped. 
Those who love Adonai hate evil. God protects the faithful and saves them from the wicked. Light is stored for the righteous, joy for the honorable. Rejoice in Adonai, you who are righteous. Acclaim the holiness of God's name. Ahave Adonai, Sineora, Shomer Nashot Hasidam, Yad Rishayim, Yad Silem, Ur Zaru Alat Sadiq, Ur Yishrelet Simcha, Simchot Sadiqim Badonai, Lehodul Zacher Kotcho, those who love Adonai hate evil. God protects the faithful and saves them from the wicked. Light is stored for the righteous, joy for the honorable. Rejoice in Adonai, you who are righteous. Acclaim the holiness of God's name. Mizmor shiu Adonai shir hadash ki nifla otasa hoshia lo yimino uzua kodsho. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has performed wonders. His right hand and holy arm have wrought deliverance for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his justice before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and faithfulness to the house of Israel. From the farthest, farthest cor corners of the earth, witness the deliverance by our God. Raise your voices in jubilation to the Lord. All the earth burst into joyous song and chanting. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the sound of a song, with trumpets and the sound of the shofar. Jubilate before the King, the Lord. The sea and its fullness will roar in joy, the earth and its inhabitants. <laughs> Lifne Adonai, Kival Ishpot Haaretz, Ishpot Tevel Betzedek, Ve'amim Be'me'sharim. Adonai Malach, Yegzu Amim. Adonai is sovereign, nations tremble, God is enthroned on high, the very earth quivers. Adonai is great in Zion, Exalted over all peoples, let them praise God, for God is awesome, holy. The King is mighty, He rules with the love of justice. You alone bring about equity, ordaining justice and compassion for the people of Jacob. Exalt Adonai our God, worship God who is holy. Moses, Aaron, and Samuel God's chosen ones called out to Adonai, who answered them in a pillar of cloud. They zealously strove to obey the divine law, even when God's decrees were beyond their grasp. You responded to them with compassion, even as you rebuked them for their offenses. Extol Adonai and bow toward God's holy mountain. Adonai is our God and He is holy. Adonai Eloheinu, Atta Anitam, El Naseit Alahem, Enokem Alla Lilotam, Romemu Adonai Eloheinu, Veshtachavol Lehaakodjo, Ki Kadosh Adonai Eloheinu, Mizmor Lidavi, Miz Morla David, Havula Donai Bneilim, Havula Donai Kavod Vaoz. A psalm of David, ascribe to Adonai o divine beings, ascribe to Adonai glory and strength, ascribe to Adonai the glory of God's name, bow down to Adonai majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters, the God of glory thunders, Adonai over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is in power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon. God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Sirion like a young wild ox.
The voice of Adonai kindles flames of fire. The voice of Adonai convulses the wilderness. Adonai convulses the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Adonai causes cows to calve and strips forests bare. While in God's temple all say glory. Adonai sat enthroned at the flood. Adonai sits enthroned sovereign forever. May Adonai grant strength to God's people. May Adonai bestow on God's people well-being. Kol Adonai yechalel ayalot vayechesof yarot uchechalo kulo omer kavod Adonai l'mabul yashav vayeshev Adonai melech leolam. Adonai, oh, let Adonai, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Chazan Gordon, thank you for leading us today in this Tfilot and Kabbalat Shabbat, wishing everybody who is watching us today, Shabbat Shalom, we are excited you are here, we are concluding today uh, the book of Bereshit in Parashat Vayechi. Now, you certainly don't want to miss tomorrow because uh, tomorrow we are going to talk about the identity of Ephraim. We are reading here in this portion uh, a special blessing about Ephraim. Who is Ephraim and what can we learn in the Geula about the Geula about Ephraim, Yaakov, the end of his life, the strange blessing that he's giving here. All of this is truly messianic. Now, I want to kind of prepare you for what's coming tomorrow because tomorrow we're really going to, to dive into prophecy and talk about it. But I love right before Shabbat, just kind of sit down and one of my favorite uh, uh, commentators is the Chida and I love to read him in Hebrew. Uh, he give us uh, something here that I think is important. Sometimes he's taking it, but he's not taking it all the way, and I'm connecting it through the messianic connotation. Now, I want you to think about this here because in this Torah portion, we are introduced to a term that many of you are very familiar because of Romans 11, and many people do not really understand and acknowledge that this term is found in the Torah. And this term is Melo Agoim, the fullness of the Gentiles. This term Melo Agoim is in the context of the blessing that Yaakov is leaving to Ephraim and Manasseh. The question that we have to ask ourselves, what is the meaning be behind Melo Agoim? And that I'm going to leave for tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow, trust me. Tomorrow, because of the significance of the day, it's going to be in parallel in English and in Espanol at the same time. But I do want to leave you with one thing to think about. What is the connection between this term Melo Agoim and the Mashiach? Okay? Now listen to what he's saying here. He's saying here the Chida, the following. Shebikesh. Yosef me Yaakov levarechet Ephraim beyado emani. Yosef wanted to ask Jacob to bless Ephraim in Yemin, right hand, okay? Vet Menashe beyado hasmalit. Menashe on the left hand. Sheyachal Yaakov et yadav. Use the term. Bikesh Yaakov lirmos. There is a remez here. What is the meaning of the word remez? homolytic understanding. There is a remez behind this strange blessing. And by the way, 
you see it in the text. When he actually blessing them later on, the next verse, he says, Vayevarcham bayom ahu, which is very interesting. Vayevarcham bayom ahu. When we hear this expression in Hebrew, bayom ahu, like in the end of the Aleinu, bayom ahu, yadonai echad, ushmo echad, in that day the Lord will be one and his name will be one, you know that it is a messianic prophecy, okay? So there is something here very important because the blessing is happening by Yom Ahu, okay? Ephraim and Kemenasha received. This is, this is very important. So all of this parashia within the parasha, the story within the story is messianic. Everybody needs to understand it. And here, what he's saying, it, it's a shocker. He says, Ki Yavo Yosef, Joseph, will come in the future as somebody who is called and listen to his name. Are you listening? Listen carefully. I'm reading you straight from the Hebrew. He's going to appear again as somebody who his name is Yehoshua. Joseph will come again as somebody that his name is going to be Yehoshua. Now Yehoshua, the name Yeshua is the derivation of the word Yehoshua, which is very important to understand. First century, it was a common practice to drop the hay. So we see this name Yehoshua. And here the Chida is telling us that he will come. She'u atzmo me Ephraim v'yamid et Hashemesh. Now think about this for a second. He will make the sun still. Who is the one who made the sun still? Remember in the battle? It was Joshua, son of Nun. The name Joshua is the same word as the word for Yeshua. And here the Chida is telling us it is a picture of the one who will make the sun still. Now, let's ask the question, who and what the sun represent? You should know the answer for that. Son of righteousness that is coming with healing in his wings is one of the names of the Messiah, which is one of the name of the Mashiach. And this is amazing because the sun, think about the word sun. What is the Hebrew word sun? Just a little bit of Hebrew lesson. This is not Rega Be'ivrit, but this is so, such a candy for the Shabbat that I have to share it with you so that you understand here. The Yosef, he's the one who is standing in the cab between his children, his sons, and between Yaakov. Ben Yosef, he's the one who's standing in the gap between the children and between Ben David. This is a prophetic picture for us. And what is he says? Iye melo agoim. Now look at that. If you take this term, he will be the fullness for the Gentile. And you take the first letter of this word, Iye, okay, Yod, melo, mem, hagoim, hey, you get the value in gematria for the word. Bahama, through the sun, through the sun, S-U-N, the sun of righteousness. Now, if you take this term and his seed will be fullness of the Gentile, the same, the same expression. And instead of looking at the prefix, you look at the suffix, you get hey, Aleph, and Mem. What is the value? Bahama through the sun. If you take the prefix of the word, word and you take the suffix of the word, you getting the same value. This is unbelievable. If you take this term, the fullness of the gentiles, the prefix and the suffix, you get the same value. And what is the value? The value is the word through the sun. Who is it pointing to? that the fullness is coming through. The fullness is coming to one, 
that is called Yehoshua, like Yeshua. And he is also called the son, the son of righteousness, that it's coming with healing in his wing. Put your trust in him today. Put your trust in him. The prefix and the suffix, I believe, point for this first coming and for his second coming. And why do they make the same? Because Ben Yosef and Ben David are going to be one in the same. I hope this bless you today. Friend, remember to be generous, to support this work. Look at this candy that we all get today for the Shabbat. As we enter Lechad Odi, please hit like and share. Be generous and trust that your fullness is fine. Only, beloved, only through in Him and in Him today. Let us enter to the Chazan right now for the Lechad Odi. Thank you so much, Chazan Gordon, for leading us in Lechad Odi. Shabbat Shalom. I will be back. Later, I hope this is exciting to you as it is to me. What a joy of a Torah portion we have this week. Lai 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 likrat kala Lai 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 bene shabat Bene shabat neto Join me Lai 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 lechadoni Lai 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 likrat kala Lai 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 bene shabai bene shabai neto bela shamor bezachor bedi borecha ishmi ani. Adonai Echad Shmo Echad Reshem Ultifed Veliti Lach Together, Lechad Dodi Lai, 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 lechad Dodi Lai, lai, lai 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 b'nei Shabbat B'nei Shabbat Nechabelah Lekrat Shabbat Lechut enelcha Rock, love, 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 love,
אמן. מי יזמור שיר ליום השבת, טוב להודות לאדוני ולזמר לשמך עליון. A song for Shabbat. It is good to acclaim Adonai, to sing your praise, exalted God. To affirm your love each morning and your faithfulness each night, to the music of the lute and the melody of the harp. Your works, Adonai, make me glad. I sing with joy of your creation. How vast your work, Adonai. Your designs are beyond our grasp. The thoughtless cannot comprehend. The foolish cannot fathom this. The wicked may flourish, springing up like grass, but their doom is sealed, for you are supreme forever. Your enemies, Adonai, your enemies shall perish. All the wicked shall crumble. But for me, you have greatly exalted. I am anointed with fragrant oil. I have seen the downfall of my foes. I have heard the despair of my attackers. Sati Atta Amali Yeah, I'm free. 
righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall grow tall like a cedar in Lebanon, planted in the house of Adonai. They will thrive in the courts of our God. They shall bear fruit even in old age. They shall be ever fresh and fragrant to proclaim Adonai is just, my rock in whom there is no flaw. An artist cannot be continually wielding his brush. He must stop at times in his painting to freshen his vision of the object, the meaning of which he wishes to express on his canvas. Living is also an art. We dare not become absorbed in its technical processes and lose our consciousness of its general plan. The Sabbath represents those moments when we pause in our brushwork to renew our vision of this object. Having done so, we take ourselves to our painting with clarified vision and renewed energy. This applies to the individual and to the community alike. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One, now and forever. Baruch et Adonai, Hamevorach. Baruch Adonai, Hamevorach, Leolam Ha'el. Baruch Adonai, Hamevorach, Le'olam Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who by his word brings on evenings, with wisdom opens gates, with understanding alters periods, changes the seasons, and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations as he wills. <laughs> Tamid yimlo chaleinu le'olam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Hamahari varavi You create day and night. You roll away the light before the darkness and the darkness before the light. You make the day pass and bring on the night. You divide the day from the night. The Lord of hosts is your name living God and enduring continually. May you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. 
אהרה את עולם בית ישראל המאהבת. תורה ומצוות, חוקים ומשפטים, אותנו למדתה. אל תנען עונה אלוהינו, בשוכנינו ובקומנו, נשיח בקוטיך. ונשמח בדברי תורתך, ובמצוותיך, לעולם בהם. Messianic Judaism begins with the commandment, Hear, O Israel. But what does it really mean to hear? People who attend a concert with their mind on business hear, but do not really hear. The person who walks amid the songs of birds and thinks only of he, what he or she will have for dinner hears, but does not really hear. The one who listens to the words of his friend or spouse or child and does not catch the note of urgency, notice me, help me, care about me, hears but does not really hear. The individual who listens to the news and thinks only of how it will affect business, hears but does not really hear. The one who stifles the sound of their conscience and tells themselves they have done enough already, hears, but does not really hear. The person who hears the Chazan pray and does not feel the call to join with him, hears, but does not really hear. In three books of the Bible, Deuteronomy, Mark, and Luke, we find the Shema. Yeshua was asked, what is the, the most important commandment? And he answered, as we do now, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. And Yeshua continued, The second greatest commandment is, kamocha, Love your neighbor as yourself. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God. The Lord is one. Bless His name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. Oh, no. 
join with me now in the chanting of the Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol lebabacha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha Vehayu hadevarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzabcha hayom alebabecha Vishinantam lebanecha vidibarta bam Vishibtecha bebeitecha uvlechtecha vaderech uvshochbecha uvkumecha Ukshartam leot al yadecha Vihayil totafot veine necha Uchtatam amizuzot betecha Uvihishareecha And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you today shall be upon your heart and teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your home and when you walk along the way and when you lie down and when you rise up and bind them as a sign on your arm and let them be to fill in between your eyes and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. True and trustworthy is all this and it is established with us that he is the Lord our God, and there is none beside him, and that we, Israel, are his people. It is he who redeemed us from the hand of kings, even our king who delivered us from the grasp of all tyrants. The God who on our behalf dealt out punishment to our adversaries and requited all our mortal enemies, who does great things, yea, and wonders without number who maintains us in life and does not suffer our feet to slip, who made us overcome and conquer our enemies and exalted our strength above all them that hated us, who wrought for us miracles and retribution upon Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the children of Ham, who in his wrath smote all the firstborn of Egypt and brought forth his people Israel from among them to everlasting freedom. When his children witnessed his power, they extolled him and gave him thanks. Freely they acclaimed him king, and full of joy, Moses and all Israel sang this song. <laughs> Join me. Come Let's sing this again. Me Okay, I am lift name or share. Zay, Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up, our guardian, to life renewed. 
Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Ashkiveinu Adonai, Eloheinu Lishamu, Amideinu Malkeinu Lechaim. Ashkiveinu Adonai, Eloheinu Lishamu, Amideinu Malkeinu Lechaim. Ushmo The children of Israel shall guard the Sabbath day in all generations as a covenant for all the world. Between me and the children of Israel, it is a sign forever that in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When God was about to give the Torah to Israel, he summoned the people and said to them, My children, I have something precious that I would like to give you for all time, if you will accept my Torah and observe my commandments. The people then asked, Master of the universe, what is that precious gift you have for us? The Holy One, blessed be he, replied, It is the world to come. The people of Israel answered, Show us a sample of the world to come. The Holy One, blessed be He, said, The Shabbat is a sample of the world to come, for that world will be one long Shabbat. <laughs> Vai 
Edim Mashfi, Laika Deish Oto, Kivo Shavat Mikom Melato, Asher Para Elohim Lazo. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Belohei Avoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Ha'el Ha'gadol, Ha'gibor Ha'nora, El Elyon, Konei Shamaim Ma'arei. Ma'gei Na'po Dibaro, Ha'gei Metim, Remember, what happened in the beginning? Give great peace to your people, Israel, forever. For you are the sovereign Lord of all peace. And may it be good in your eyes to bless your people, Israel, at every time, at every hour, with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people, Israel, with peace. <laughs> Shalom Rav, Al Yisrael Amcha, Asim Le'olam. Shalom Rav, Al Yisrael Amcha, Asim Le'olam. Ki Ata Omelechato, Adonai, Hamibarechet Amo Israel, 
Pashalo. Our Father in heaven, may your name be sanctified. May your kingdom come as your will is done in the heavens. May it also be done on earth. Give us the bread that is our portion today and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven those indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but save us from the evil one. For to you is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for endless eternities. Et lechem hukeinu ten lanu hayom Umachal lanu al chovotenu ka asher machalnu Kam anachnu lechayabenu Ve'al tevienu ledene zayyom Oehim dechatzenu hominara Bless the household of Israel wherever they dwell. Be with us here where we worship you in freedom. And may those who live under oppressive rule find release and liberty speedily in our own day. May your favor rest upon Israel, her land, her people. Protect her against hatred and war. Grant that the promise of her beginning may ripen into fulfillment, bringing comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, new hope to all humanity. This we ask in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. It is custom to rise for the Elenu if you are able. Please join with us in the chant. Elenu le shabach la adon hakol la tekedulal yotzev reshi shelo asanu kagaye haratzot melo samano kemishpachot adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegor aleinu kechol hamona. Bend and bow. Ba'anachu korim umeshtachavim umodim lefnaim elech malchei hamlachim May the time not be distant, Adonai, when your name shall be worshipped in all the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all shall turn to you in love when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when suspicion and superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, when all who dwell on earth shall know that you alone are God. O oh, may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service, then shall your kingdom be established on earth and the word of your prophet fulfilled. The Lord will reign forever and ever. <laughs> Sing with me. Bye, 
Zan Peter, would you please lead us in the Mourner's Kaddish? My pleasure. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei raba. Amen. Be'alma divarach hirute v'yamlich malchute v'yatzmach burkhane v'karev Yeshua mishichi. Amen. May his great name grow exalted and sanctified in the world that he created as he willed. May his kingdom reign, may his redemption sprout, and may he hasten the coming of Yeshua, his Messiah. Amen. Amen. In your lifetimes and in your days, and in the lifetimes of the entire family of Israel, swiftly and soon. May his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, mighty, upraised, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is He. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush bechata v'nechemata, da'amiran ba'alma, v'yimru, amen. Beyond any blessing and song, praise and consolation that are uttered in the world. Yehei shalama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'yimru, amen. O say shalom bim romav, who ya ase shalom aleinu, the al kol Yisrael v'yimru, amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel. May he who makes peace in his heights, may he make peace upon us and upon all Israel. Amen. Lo. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol Yitzir Nivra, Beit Nassar, Bechet Sokol, Azay Melech, Shemo Mekra, Veacharei, Shit, 
Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom Chazan Gordon, Shabbat Shalom to everybody who is tuning in. Let's do the bracha together. Baruch Ata Adonai Loenu Melech HaOlam, Bore Priya Gefen, Amen. Lechaim to everybody today, especially in Parashat Vayechi, for life, life in greatest abundance, abundance is promised to us by Yeshua our Messiah, and we want to bless and greet everybody today in the name of the Lord who are joining us. Shabbat Shalom. We are so excited that this Shabbat we are finishing the book of Bereshit in Parashat Vayechi. And because of that, I have prepared something very special to you for you for this Shabbat. You don't want to miss Shabbat morning with us, I am going to be dealing with a very important topic, the topic of the blessing of Ephraim, Menashe, the connection to Yeshua and understanding who is Ephraim, what is the purpose of Ephraim, and what is the calling for those who receive this blessing in connection to the last days. This, friends, is going to be broadcasted this Shabbat for you, and we are certainly, certainly hopeful, hopeful that you will join, it, join us. It's going to be in English and in Spanish at the same time. Now, uh, before we get to a very brief Deval uh, Torah today uh, for, for all of you, uh, I just want to explain to everybody that we are entering now a very intense season. We Tomorrow we're going to make some significant announcement about an event in Spain. Friends, we are going to be in Spain. We can confirm it. Worldwide revival from Spain is coming. We have the date nailed and we're going to uh, announce it tomorrow. We also have a, a big announcement for our Indonesians tomorrow. It's so exciting. Uh, we confirming that next month I will be in Australia. I'm so excited. Australia, New Zealand, I'm coming. Friends, all of those projects are complicated. The world is complicated. And in many times, we finance much of this work ourselves. Uh, I will be in, not this next week, but the following week in Paris. It's hard work. It's difficult labor. It's complicated. But we are rolling our sleeves and working. And last year, we didn't let, let, let travel uh, stop us. And we travel. And uh, don't think we're traveling luxury. We don't. It's hard to be in a plane for 15, sometimes 30, 20, 25 hours even. Uh, you don't see us going in luxury. We're going coach, okay? And we are uh, making it as economical as we can. But those type of projects are, uh, are just costing us a lot of money. So I'm asking you today to really understand Yes, we have this Kabbalah Shabbat service and Shabbat morning and all the feasts and the festivals and all these wonderful things. But what we are about here at Avatami International and Shuvu International is really a global revival. Today is a very special day. We have the very first Messianic synagogue from Brazil joining us. I'll tell you a little bit about this tomorrow. 
very excited about this. It's a big day for celebration. The work is expanded now to uh, Brazil, and I'm so thankful for that. The economics of doing it, if a businessman would look at our model, he said, your model is going to be economically a failure because we give uh, we give more than we receive. And, and that is the truth. As you ask me, how do you keep on funding and financing it? It is a miracle. It's nothing short of a miracle. And the one who provides the miracle is each and every one of you who financially give. That, that's how the miracle happened. We have a very serious situation. In 2014, I started in this studio. And the studio at this point had so much water damage so much meldew uh we're going to test it also for mold we have to regut it and start from scratch and i simply don't have a place to film right now and people are waiting on me and waiting on this support on, on this support of more teaching it's going to be a significant effort all of our equipment is obsolete and as you see sometimes our quality is not good I've been this week, all week with AT&T on the phone. What can you do to help? And it's nothing. They cannot do nothing. I just have to pay them uh, about uh, $20,000 to make this happen. So this is on top of everything else, $70,000 that we need to invest. And we're reluctant to do it because we want to invest in outwork work, work but we are the parent organization, we have to do this. So this is a little bit of reality of what I'm dealing with. And remember something that now we are not broadcasting in one language, but in 10 languages. So the work multiplied now times 10. And we need this bandwidth. We need the place that we're not going to be getting sick when we work. Um, it, I don't think it's much for what we are doing. So we are asking you today to really think with us. Maybe God have somebody here who have those type of funds, who have does those type of resources, and you can come and help us to not just Operation Kiruv, but really think about Avatami International. We are the parent organization and we support everybody and everything. And we want to uh, continue to do this toward everybody. So thank you. We have some big surprises coming in the horizons but all of this is truly a function of the resource that we can receive to help us believe me when i tell you uh our entire ministry here is very modest very very modest and uh we're doing it because it's our in our heart we 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 do it because we believe in this global vision so thank you uh, for your support. And we're really excited about Australia coming. I also will be in California tomorrow. I'm going to give you the full schedule. And I think you will be shocked when you see the full schedule in front of us. And I am praying that we can finance it and to be able to do it uh, because we do need a miracle from the Lord. Now, we're coming to the end of the life of Yaakov. And I want to leave you with a word before leaving you. Let you all go have your Shabbat meal. In Genesis 47, 29, there is a very interesting verse at the beginning of the parasha that I want to talk about for a moment. It says in the Hebrew, Vaikrevu yemei Israel lamut. And the days of Israel to die have come closer. Now there is a question that is asked in the Zohar that I found very interesting. And unless you know Hebrew, you are not necessarily going to get it, but I'm going to try to ask this question in a way that would make sense to all of us. The Zohar asked the question, what is the meaning behind Yemei Israel? The Hebrew word yom 
mean a day. But if you take this word a day and you put it instead of the mem, you put a yod, you get the word yemein, which now become plural. Why is it that the text, the pshat, is telling us those are the days of Israel to die? Shouldn't it say that the day of Israel come to die? And the Zohar give all sorts of funny excuses. They says that God is kind of gathering the spirit of Yaakov. So it takes some time to do this. I don't buy this. I don't buy this explanation. The Zohar is giving us an explanation that I think much, much better that is also reiterated by the Gaon of Vilna, based on Proverbs chapter 6, verse 33. You can look it up. But it says this, that the man, when he about to pass from this world to the world to come, he have to go through some level of judgment. And each and every one of us, according to Jewish understanding, that is about to pass, has to go through three different malachim. And that's why it's used in the word here, Yemei Israel, the days of Israel, plural, because three malachim are visiting him. Three different judgments are occurring. And let me tell you those three malachim, those three phases, because the Brit Hadasha tell us that even the righteous, even the righteous are going to be judged in the last days. It is true, not just the wicked, every person is going to go through the judgment. So you probably wonder today, what judgment we're going to go through? Why is it say days? The word days is a plural because it's speaking about the three malachim. Before one passed away, the very first one come, the first Malach come, and he calculate, he sent by Hashem, and he calculating the moments that he was in the world, and he look at the positive and the negative. He look at, at the merit, and he looking at the sins of a person. It's like a spiritual accounting. Each and every one of us has to go through spiritual accounting. That's the first malach. Everybody need to understand that everything that we do for the good, for the merit, or for sin will be accounted for in the days ahead. The second one come and he specifically do a second accounting of all the offenses. Offenses against our brother offenses of the tongue, offenses of the speech, offenses of Lashon Ara, offenses of our eyes, offenses on the horizontal. Do you understand the, the sins of the Look at the weight that there is, Yemei. Here in this last day, Yaakov, our father, is going to accounting, a spiritual accounting of his life. But there is a third Malach, and what is the third Malach is doing? He look at the person beginning. Where is he started spiritually? The day he was born and where he ended. And it's asked the question, listen to this. Did the person reach his fullness? The third angel look upon our ability to reach our own fullness. So there is an accounting, there is one that look for the sin of one another, and there is one who look, have we reach our own fullness. There is this story that is told about Rabbi Moshe Leib. Rabbi Moshe Leib was a rabbi in Poland, and one day he went very far for his work to do the mitzvot, 
And after several weeks, he's returned back to his color. He's returning back to his wife. And the moment his children saw him, they surrounded him. They almost smothered him, his own children, the little children. And they asked him with screaming, with, with shouting, Abba, Abba, what have you brought to us today? What have you brought us before the Shabbat? The father became so overwhelmed by the children that he passed out. He fainted. He fainted. His wife woke him up and she asked him the question, did the children, did the teaching, did what the children ask you, touch your heart so much that you had to faint? The rabbi looked at his own wife and he said to her, no, no, I did not faint from their request. But in this moment that the children asked me for the gift, I got a picture in my imagination. What kind of question I will be asked in the world to come after the long journey of our this world, of the Olam Azeh. And they will ask me this question. What have you brought after this long journey? How much Torah, how much mitzvot do you carry after your long journey of the life? Today, beloved, we have to ask this question as we prepare ourselves for the times to come, where the Malachim will judge, they look at our positive or negative, they will ask us, what fruit have you brought us? What do you have to show up for yourself? And that's why Yeshua said that we are to store up our treasures in heaven. The things that we are establishing here at Avata Me Ministry, my hope and my prayer will be with us long after our generation is gone. I hope I will be here for many years. And so you, but we have to live our life and understanding that this long road, known as our own life, can end at any second at any time and when those yamim coming when those malachim will visit us they will ask us what torah have you bought not how much you know but how much have you done how much mitzvot have you committed how much tzedakah have you given how much Kamocha, have you completed? These are the questions that will be asked each and every one of us. So today, just like the rabbi, let us prepare for the Olam Abba. Live every day like Yaakov, our father, Baolam Haze, in this world, as we prepare to the world to come and for the kingdom to come by mitzvot, by Torah, and by gemilut chasadim. I wish you all Shabbat Shalom. Let us prepare for those days. They are nearer than we think, beloved. Prepare ourselves for the world to come. To Vayechi in the kingdom to come. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I hope you receive this word and Shabbat Shalom.